Captain's log we have arrived at the asteroid only to find it will be a more difficult task than what Starfleet had led us to believe. The asteroid is heavier than what we thought and the ship may not be able to safely tow it out of the way. I have called you all here to brainstorm on ways to get this asteroid deflected. We have been towing it for an hour but our calculations say it is not enough. Our systems can put out only so much power, but I have an idea. We can deploy a space mine behind it. The shock waves should be enough. The question is, Engineer Oliver, will that fragment the asteroid and make things worse? I don't believe so. This rock has a heavy iron base. It should withstand the blast. What about our shields? Will they protect us? I think so. Most of the blast will be absorbed by the asteroid. Very well. I want every calculation checked and rechecked. We will go with your plan. We are approaching release point. Is the mine ready? Everything looks good. Preparing to release mine. Now. Maneuvering away. Activating timer. Arming mine. Time to detonation. Status of mine. Everything looks good. We should raise shields now. 30 seconds to detonation. Sound general quarters. Raise shields. Definition positive. All hands brace for collision. Shock waves. It worked, Captain. It won't be a problem again for 60,000 years. Damage reports, all decks. Sick bay report injuries. Cor Damage control reports all decks are operational. Sick bay reports only a few minor bumps and bruises. Discontinue tractor beam and set course for the planet. Well I am going to go get dressed. I am sure glad we stored up food. I have heard there is a starship that is here to help. It might take some time to get to rural areas like ours. They will get to us. It's only a matter of time.
Phasers on kill. The stun setting is ineffective. I can't tell if it is dead or not. This is a single celled organism. I will call Lieutenant Jenkins. She is just a few minutes away on foot. Take full readings. Stay back from this thing. Doctor, we just got back from diverting the asteroid. Is Lieutenant Jenkins available? I would like to speak with both of you and a security representative. Lieutenant Jenkins is close by. I will call her. There is a small room with a lounge area set up. We can discuss matters there. I am here to get an update. What are we facing? We are coordinating with rescue ships that are arriving. There are life forms similar to Earth protozo, but our size, not microscopic. The life forms are spreading and have killed a number of colonists already. 
How are they killing the colonists? The life forms drain them and leave dry corpses. Our phasers are effective on kill. They are spreading too quickly and we are starting to lose ground. I want a plan for killing them. How do we protect the civilian population? We can use our ships in relays to beam out the colonists and transport them to an island that is near to the continent. I recommend bombardment by neutron radiation and heating the surface to 250 degrees for an hour. In essence, we can give the land a fever. While I find human aphorisms to be illogical, I agree with the doctor. We can use phases on low power and wide beam. Our transporters can move the colonists in relays between ships. What about the ground fighting? How long can you hold out? Our troops are doing the best they can. I think we can keep them back for some time. Very well. Everyone has their duty. Let's get started. All ships report ready. All colonists safe on the island. This is Captain Hondo. All ships commence phaser and neutron bombardment of the target area. You have done well here, Captain. I appreciate your having me on board. A genuine pleasure. It is not every ship that gets to play host to a representative of the Council. Smitter had the best of intentions, but someone had other ideas. Call it nature or call it God. We have just been reminded that someone else is in charge. I wouldn't have it any other way. Some things should be left to higher powers. <laughs> 